Mercy was still on the living room couch. She opened one eye. Mercy opened both eyes. The Watson front door swung open. Mercy, said Stella, we are having a tea party and you are invited. Mercy yawned. I don't think she's interested, said Frank. There will be big pieces of cake and cream puffs and cheese toast. Mercy sat up. Actually, she was interested. There will be eclairs and pancakes and enchiladas, said Stella. Mercy was very interested. But, said Stella, if you come to the tea party, you have to wear a hat. Everybody at a proper tea party wears a hat. Mercy thought about hats. She thought about food. She got off the couch. She followed Frank and Stella out the front door. Animal Control Officer Francine Poet was on her way to 54 Deathwood Drive. Francine, she said to herself, you've never encountered a pig before. This is career-expanding opportunity. At the corner of Creek, at the corner of Creek and Windigo, Francine spotted a dog. She stopped the truck. Hello, little friend, said Francine Poulet. Are you lost? Er, said the dog. Just as I suspected, said Francine. No tags. Hop in. On Mirko Street, a golden retriever stepped in front of animal control officer Pauline Poulet, officer Paul, officer Francine Poulet's trunk. Tisk tisk, said Francine Poulet. Foolish dog. She stopped the truck. She got up. Quick, like a bunny, said Francine Poulet to the golden retriever. The golden retriever hopped in. Francine, said Francine Poulet, you are the best animal control officer in the history of animal control. Nothing can stop you, not even a pig. By the time Francine Poulet turned on to Deco Drive, the truck was full of dogs. To catch a pig, said Francine, what I need to do is think like a pig. The dogs in the back of the truck howled. Think like a pig, think like a pig, said Francine Poulet. She saw a man and a woman running down the street. Excuse me, said Francine. Have you seen a pig? We have lost her, said the uh, woman. Lost who, said Francine. Mercy, said the man. Or darling, or dear, she is in great danger. An unmentionable horror approaches, said the woman. An unmentionable horror, said Francine Poulet. Exactly, said the man. All righty then, said Francine. Thank you very much. She rolled up her window. You are on your own here, Francine, said Francine Poulet. The locals are as crazy as loons. The dogs in the back of the truck barked and growled. I know, I know, Francine told them. Think like a pig. Mercy was wearing a hat. She was watching Stella pour imaginary tea. She was watching Stella slice imaginary cake. Mercy was not having a good time. Where were the enchiladas and cream puffs? Mercy's stomach growled. Where were the pancakes and eclairs? Would you like some more? said Stella. Some more of what? Mercy wondered. She snorted. Isn't this lovely? said Stella. I don't think Mercy is happy, said Frank. Everybody is always happy at a tea party, said Stella. I'm not happy said Frank. I'm hungry. Plus, I look stupid in this hat. Oh, please, said Stella. Here, have some more cake. An control officer, Francie Poulet, was scouting the backyards of Deckwood Drive. She leaped over hedges. She crept through flower beds. She thought piggy thoughts. She climbed a tree and surveyed the yard below her. She, thought she saw three people wearing hats. She saw three people sitting at a table, having tea. Isn't that nice, said Francine Poulet. Isn't that sweet? Francine looked more closely. Wait a minute, she said. One of those people is not a person. One of those people is a pig. Francine, you've located the pig. You are the best animal control officer in the history of the world. And now you must capture the pig on the count of one, two. Francine Poulet closed her eyes. She leaped from the tree. Three! And that's all we'll be reading for now. Hope you had fun. And that's it for now. Right, the end.